If viral YouTube videos are any indication, we love watching people act like they're animals. But what about those animals whose gestures and expressions make them look surprisingly human? Well, one photographer's on a mission to break down species barriers, and the results are priceless. Here's ABC's Nick Schifrin. Look into their eyes. See them appear to echo human gestures human poses, human love. I'm almost mapping over human portraiture. From the deadly to the docile, photographer Tim Flash has spent the last seven years uncovering all that's human in animals. By showing a baby and a mother, it is something that we instantly make equivalence about ourselves. Even creatures we think nothing of stepping on. A cockroach is hardly something you, you, you think we, we could make into a star. I wanted to make a portrait that has almost personality because it makes you rethink perhaps your, your association with certain species. Or animals we're often scared of. There's a sense of it could be something from a phantom of the opera. It's looking back at you. It's still taking you to an unexpected journey. He's captured hundreds of images from every corner of the planet. They're intimate and seem spontaneous, but how in the world did he get them to sit still? Okay, Oops, sorry, go, go, go. He's lost it again, see? Go, lost it. Now he's got it. Go, 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 go. Now he's lost it. Yeah. Turns out, not so easy. Uh, what I'd like to do is, you know how you've got... Tim creates a new setting for each animal. He invited us to watch him photograph a barn owl named Barney. Should we get the cat put away? <laughs> I think we don't want our model being eaten by the cat. Or would it be the other way around? Turns out working with animals can be like working with, well, spoiled starlets. Like us, we can have a good day or a bad day. You introduce them to the set in a manner that can least stress them, make them feel that it's okay to be there. And he does that with all kinds of creatures. Those are the eyelashes of an elephant, the monkey who looks like he's texting, the panda who looks like he's singing, and then there's Jumbo, the chimp, who's suffering from a human condition. He lost his hair. Do you know it's not a human head, but you're left thinking it could be some character from a film. Photographers should look more intensely. Things come alive that you then share to other people. It's going forward. See, yeah, I thought that would happen. I'm just weighing up whether it's, it's even worth pursuing. With Barney, a slightly frustrated Tim resorts to scaring the poor fella. Remember the cat? Probably no, not that much. Okay, that's it, you got it. And suddenly, this emerges. I think we should do a few more. Ready? Ready, one. Then another. It takes you not just to the bird, but to other associations. Meaning like a human? It's got this gesture, which is sort of uh, engaging and looks like it's, it's trying to communicate with you. Communicate an empathy we didn't even realize that we had. There was always that presence of just being in awe of nature. And are you still in awe of nature? I'm still in awe of nature. I'm still there looking wide-eyed and going, wow. For Nightline, I'm Nick Schifrin in London.